here's one more feature that can be mind-blowing to new Google Photos users. It's video stabilization. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Jay. Welcome to Jay and Jane Photography. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I use Google Photos to edit some videos. Video stabilizations available only on mobile for videos that you shot using the same mobile phone. Now, I don't know about importing videos from other mobile devices, but for my experience, if I import videos from my Canon ADD and try to stabilize it on Google Photos, it doesn't work, it gives me an error. But it always works with videos that I shot with my mobile phone. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on the mobile phone, of course. Let's go to the home page here, photos. Okay, got here a 12 second video. It's moving a little bit, holding it with my hand. So yeah, let me show you how to stabilize it. So you can shorten the video if you want, trim the beginning and the end like that. By hitting this icon, it starts stabilizing. So just wait for it to finish and save the video. For some reason, video stabilization is not available on PC. A few moments later. So here are a few examples of footage from my phone before and after stabilization. As far as we can see, it's good for footage with little movement. Now, if you start foregrounding and adding lots of motion, that's where it has a problem. You can see the footage warping especially if there isn't any stable object that serves as an anchor point. It does a pretty good job if there are stationary objects around the frame. But as you can see, the ripples in the water confuses it in this shot and the whole thing starts shaking instead of stabilizing. So as I move away from the bubbles and from the ripples, it stabilizes the entire scene based on the rocks. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you'll always be notified about new quick tips and tricks that we're going to share about photography, videography, and even sound design. Until the next episode, see you next time.